Before we move on, welcome to Tanks and Invest. Talk about investing, finance, fresh development for today's video terms only. The investment top today would be Ethereum Tech ETH. First, just want to say happy Thursday, everybody. Hope you have a great week, by the way. With respect to Ethereum, also recording of 9.32 a.m. on the Eastern Time, country $3,991, up about 0.78% so far. It seems like we are normalizing a little bit, you know, you know, struggling around like a three thousand dollar level testing today's high of three thousand twenty two, while today's low was two thousand nine hundred and fifty eight dollars. So it seems like we're definitely struggling. Um, and respect to the media front, we have a lot of negative news uh, for some reason. So just to keep tabs, right? First one that came out two hours ago from CNBC talking about 90 millions in cryptocurrency was stolen after a top Japanese exchange was hacked. Another one that was talking about with respect to cryptocurrencies, traders seek damage from Binance after a major outage, you know, that cost investors millions of dollars because of the opportunity cost or the opportunity that uh, investors are looking to liquidate that they couldn't because the platform was crashed or or some sort of a technological manipulation from the app. That's something that is still um, conspiracy that to this day we don't know, right? That's something we have experienced with Coinbase. Obviously, we are seeing with Binance at the same time right now. Another one, this is more of a, um, I would say, a positive news if you may. So Ember Group announced partnership with Ethereum Zurich SUS Tex risk x institute so this article came out about five hours ago from bitcoiners uh talking about obviously the european expansions uh but another step of approval of another corporations um in the european side of the nation and then another one talking about um and this is a positive one uh talking about ethereum rises to number one crypto seems to be unstoppable um, and this verbiage is coming out from Cointelegraph um, on the characterization coming from specifically another name drop, the CEO of the Very Group. Um, so another name drop, another step of approval from another corporation. And then there's the, another regurgitation news talk about Ethereum founder Vitalik Buterin joins the Dogecoin Foundation as the board of advisor, which is something we heard. And we also know that one of Elon's uh, partner that's working at Tesla is also part of the foundation at the same time right now. So another step of approval, I guess, uh, in the corporate perspective for Dogecoin. And then another one um, is talking about, it's really just the another comparison news comparing Bitcoin versus Ethereum coming from MarketWatch, uh, talking about how um, the Ethereum trajectory in a technical perspective should outperform uh, Bitcoin if you compare the two so I think that's something we have seen already you know just based on recent you know trajectory and the growth and the search by percentile um, so far so it's not like a new news if you if you may but um, obviously who knows right we might see more volatility coming with respect to the foreshadow uh, for the crypto asset exchange going forward so I'm gonna go to a technical analysis knowing the fact that we do have some negative news but you know, we do have some mutual um, slash, you know, um, regurgitation or reinforcement news. Um, but technical is never lies, right? And it seems like we are struggling at the $3,000 level. We have broken and now we're trading around $2,999. Um, so I'm going to take a look at the trends, how it's going to be shaking out going forward. So stay tuned, stick around, let's make some money. Right, so moving on to the technical analysis for Ethereum ticket ETH, I'm recording some 9.36 a.m. on Eastern Time, current trend $2,998, up about 1.05% so far. With respect to equity side of the house, we are definitely bright red today uh, with respect to the, you know, worsening of the COVID variant news. Uh, seems like the cases are definitely worsening. And with respect to interest rate, it seems like it's uh, kind of volatile recently, right? And, uh, and basically ahead of the Jackson Hole speech that we should be expecting basically a week from now. And also with respect to obviously the Taliban overtake Afghanistan news that's been percolating around the news front, um, driving a lot, of, a lot of like fear mongering among investors, right? And crypto serve as like some sort of like a safe haven asset class, um, you know, allows us to anti-correlation drive up from there, right? So we are seeing some 
anti-quality effects happening today, and that's why we are seeing some surge across the spectrum. But Cardano, you can see that we are kind of selling off because, like per my technical analysis yesterday, we've been running extremely hot. And whatever goes up really, really fast comes down just as fast. So that's something that is, um, you know, is a precaution, if you may. Take that with a huge grain of salt if you want to invest in it, right? At least at the current moment, right? Um, and right now, on the MACD perspective for Ethereum, we are crossed downward. Uh, so we form a death cross, and it seems that we have that inertia to keep leaping down because uh, we are currently just hovering on a sideways fashion. We broke the 3000, which is again not a substantive level, just a flat number. The next level ideally will get to would be the 2850, but again, that level is not substantive either, right? So ideally, comfortably, we will be hitting back to the 2750. Would, would, will be the first level to get us to and we should be technically getting there somewhere around this friday or saturday because of the potential weekend affectation contingent on obviously no positive media affectation on those specific days so something we have to watch out for uh, but ideally for me i would start buying in at 2750 and 2450 because these are comfort level right I would be comfortable buying at 2750 or 2450. Obviously, I would start chipping away, but I would incur more significantly with my cash reserve at 2450. Do we see 2150? I think that's relatively difficult to get there, right? Knowing the fact that we do have a relatively good resistance level that we formed, you know, back in the day on um, 31st all the way to the 4th. And this sell-off was mainly due to the bills, right, with respect to crypto bills that's coming from Don Byers. And also Gary Gens Gensler, uh, you know, basically uh, speaking negatively, calling, you know, cryptocurrencies as some sort of um, scam, fraud, and et cetera, et cetera, right? So that's a substantive bottom, and, you know, that is a reason why we bounce off that 2450 because it's a comfort level that we've formed historically. So I will feel comfortable more buying at that level in a more risk averse perspective. All right, just to recap our numbers and technical analysis, again, right, we did break the $3,000 level, but if you wanna buy it now because you just wanna buy it now, um, the risk exposure is um, it's definitely high, I would say, uh, but you know, if you wanna do it at whole for a long term, you know, there's no, it's no, there's nothing wrong with that, you know? Uh, but for me, I would be more risk averse. I'll just wait until 2050. I would wait until 2450. That's my ideal level. Uh, but long term wise, you know, 9,800 and the 12 months target, basically next year by June, we should be around these level, 3.3 uh, times your money from here. All right, so that's it for there. Respect my technical analysis on Ethereum ticket ETH. Hopefully, this is helpful. I uh, really appreciate you guys for dropping by again. Um, and feel free to give me a shout if you have any questions again. Um, and stay tuned for this to come up. Take care. Bye.